Hello everyone, myself Simangda Biradar. In previous video, we discussed about nested queries. Now in this video, let's see on uh, nest correlated nested queries. So now correlated nested queries, before going to this correlated nested queries, as I told one ex example in the nested query, that is the retrieve the name of the employees whose okay first name is same as your dependent name and have the same sex okay so for that you already written the solution using the nested query and here one more example so where used equal or in comparison operator that can you can collapse into a single block instead of nested query you can also write in a single block here so this is your simple basic query here in this way also you can write see this is the example same example these two conditions you are written in the nested query and dependent table you are taken as a okay table inside the inner query here so but you can collapse it into a single block like this so you can take like this from you take the both the table this is the table of the inner query and this is the outer query table now i am specifying this to in a single okay from class and in the where conditions are what earlier condition is it e okay essn in so now along with that you are taking the conditions of this inner query so that one you are collapsed as a single block like this also if you want to write as yes, you can write here okay next is correlated nested query it evaluates once for each tuple in the outer query. So in the outer query, what are the tuples it takes? No, it consider each tuples to make the evaluation. So such type of the queries what we call, we call as a correlated nested queries. Next is exists function in SQL for correlating queries. In For correlating the queries, that is nested queries, exist function is used and it checks the result of a correlated nested query is empty or not. So work of the exist function is to check whether that correlated nested query is empty or not. Based on that, it retrieves the result using the Boolean value true or false true if the nested query result contains at least one tuple false if the nested query result contains no tuples inner query after executing that query minimum one tuple if we retrieve as a result then that condition it takes as a true in exist function if inner query doesn't retrieve any tuples that is no tuples as a result that one it retrieves as a false for this exist function Next, in the same way, you are using one more function that is the not exist function. Not exist function is also used to check the correlated nested query is empty or not, but it returns value is re okay, it is reverse of exist. So, whereas in exist, when you retrieve true, if minimum one tuple if it exists for the nested query whereas in not exist it retrieves true if the nested query results contains no tuples it is reverse of exist exist true when at least one tuple if it is there then it is true but in the not exist no tuples then it is true at least one tuple then it returns false here okay so exist and not exist typically used in conjunction with correlated nested queries here and one more function you are used in sql that is the unique and this unique function returns boolean true if there are no duplicate tuples in the result of the query so if there is no duplicate tuples exist in the result of the query then this unique function returns true otherwise it returns false Next, see one of the example for this exist function. So that is retrieve the name of employees who have at least one dependent. So what actually you want to retrieve now? You want to retrieve the name. So that's why it is select f name l name from employee. So where I use the exist as a one function. This is the correlated query here. And select okay asterisk symbol if I use means what? It selects the all the attributes here from dependent where ssn equal to essn so if ssn equal to essn so now that condition if it is true then exit works so for example this is your dependent table and these are the essns here okay 
So this is your employee table. Now first one is what it is. First SSN is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 existing dependent table also. This ESSN is equal to this ESSN. Yes, it is true. Okay, it is exist. If it is true, as I told earlier, minimum at least one tuple if it is exist, then what it makes this exist, it retrieves the what? It returns the true here. If it is true, then from employee table, you are retrieving F name and L name. So, as yes, it is true now, so what it retrieves now? First, F name is John and L name is the Smith here. Next, it goes to next tuple of the employee SSN is 333. So, in the ESSN, it checks whether that 33 is there. as yes, it is there. Minimum 1. Maybe more than one tuple also if it is exist, it is okay. But minimum, at least one dependent must be there here. If it is there, then exist returns true. If it is true, then from the employee table, it retrieves the F name and L name of that employee. So, this is also condition is true. Then it retrieves Franklin O. Okay. Next, it goes to 999. So, in this uh, dependent table, so 99 is not there. So, then what is the result now? No tuples are selected. If no tuples are not selected from this nested correlated query, then exist returns what? It returns false. If it is false, then it doesn't retrieve that employee F name and the L name. Okay. Next, it goes and checks 98765. Yes, that 98765 is there in this ESSN also. Condition is equal. If it is equal, then one tuple is selected. At least one it is condition criteria is there. If it is there, then exit returns what? It returns true. Yes, if it is true, then it retrieves that employee F name and L name. So, yes, it is equal and it exists. That's why it has returns Jennifer equal to this one. Okay. This F name and L name, it retrieves here. Next, it goes to 666. So, here 666 is not there. So, that's why it doesn't retrieve any tuples because condition fails. Then exist function retrieves what? It returns false. If it is false, then it doesn't retrieve any output from the employee table. Next, 453 is also not there. Then this query, inner query, no tuples are selected. Exist is false. That's why it doesn't retrieve that employee name also. Next, 987 also same and 88. These two, no tuples are selected. You will get as a result for this inner query and exist condition. Okay, for exist function, it is false that's why it doesn't retrieve the those employee so whenever you execute this particular query you will get the output as a f name l name that is john franklin and the jennifer here this is how exist works is it clear now okay so next let's see about how not exist works here so for that example is what retrieve the name of employees who have no dependent so, if you are running the criteria condition as at least one dependent, then you go for using this exist function. If the condition is who have no dependent, then this is the query here. Okay, select F name, L name from employee where not exist. Okay, so now in our query, okay, it executes first. What is the criteria checks where SSN equal to ESSN? First is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This SSN is equal to this ESSN as it is true. If it is true, how many tuples it retrieves? Three tuples it retrieves. So, if three tuples are retrieved, then what is the not exist criteria? This function returns as if tuples, at least one tuples or more than one tuples if it is there, okay, or, or, you'll, get, or you'll get as a result from this inner query, then this not exist function returns what here? It returns false. If it is false, then it doesn't retrieve that employee F name and L name. This as I told earlier, not exist is the reverse of the exist. Okay. Next, it checks the second ESSN and SSN that is 3345. Yes, there it is there in the ESSN. It matches. Then it retrieves three tuples here. So, once again, not exist function returns false. If it is false, then it doesn't retrieve those employee information also. 
Next, it checks 99987. As 9987 is not there in ESSN. So, if condition fails, then it doesn't reduce any tuples. So, now output of this one is what? No tuples here. Okay. Now, it doesn't retrieve any tuple. If it doesn't retrieve any tuple, then what is the things here? Not exist. If no tuples are selected or written from this inner correlated query, then it returns true here. If it is true, then what happens here? If it is true for this one, which one? For this one, if it is true, then this employee name it retrieves. Okay, F name and L name of the this employee it retrieves. Next, it goes and checks the SSN. Next, SSN is 98765. Yes, it is existing here and it is existing. Condition is true. Then it retrieves the, this result as a one tuple. So, one tuple if it is there, not exist condition. It retrieves what? It returns false. If it returns false, then that employee information, it doesn't retrieve. Next is 668, okay. So, 668 is not there in the ESSN. Then this, okay, SSN equal to ESSN condition fails. If condition fails, this inner query doesn't reduce any tuples. No tuples as the output will get for this inner query. Then not exist condition is true. If condition is true, then that employee name it retrieves, okay. So, next is 455 is also condition is true because no tuples exist, condition fails, okay. For this inner query, the output you will get for this inner query as a no tuples, not exist condition is true for the no tuples and that employee information it retrieves, okay. Next, 9879. So for this also no, then this employee information also it retrieves and this employee information also it retrieves. So now in the not exist, you will get the output of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the four employees who don't have dependent. That's why these SSNs are not there in dependent table. So in this way, not exist works. Is it clear now? Exist returns true when? If minimum one tuple exists, then exist returns true. Whereas not exist returns true when if no tuples are selected. Okay. Is it clear now? Okay. Next, I'll take one more example. Same thing. Retrieve the name of the managers who have at least one dependent. So, earlier you are taken retrieve the name of the employees who have at least one dependent. Now, you want to retrieve the name of the managers. So, this is the query. This is your employee table and this info dependent, okay, that employee is having dependent or not. That information you will get from this, okay, exist, this inner query. And whether that employee is manager or not, that information you will get from this inner query. So, first this exists, okay. So, this inner query, what are the tuples here? I know that one, it get the result here. So, this is the resultant for this inner query dependent, okay. Where SSN equal to ESSN from the dependent table, that condition where it is true, those tuples it retrieves now. So, next if I go for this one, so this inner query resultant is what? Where SSN equal to manager SSN. All the other attributes also there, but I am selecting only the, okay, SSN and the manager SSN to explain how actually this particular query works, okay. So, now this is the result of this inner query and this is the result of this inner query. And exist, exist it returns true if it is, okay, one tuple is exist, okay. Yes, here also one tuple is exist that is 333 and 33 is there. So, minimum one tuple if it is exist then it is true. If it is true then it retrieve that employee information. So, where you are rank the 335 that employee information is what Franklin Wong here. Next it selects the next this one. So, from this one, one tuple 98765 is there, as same 98765 is the exist in the, this inner query also. So, minimum one tuple if it is exist, then it retrieves true and that employee information, it retrieves F name and the L name here. So, it indicates what these two employees are the manager who have the dependence here. So, next for example, if I go for the 
others SSN if I compare 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it exists here but it doesn't exist here. So then AND condition what happens here? So it becomes the no tuple selection and exist becomes true, false. That's why it doesn't retrieve the, that employee information. So this is about how actually your exist and not exist works. Is it clear now? Okay. Thank you.